Welcome back to my vlog channel. Today I am taking you guys shopping with me again. And in this video, we are at Hobby Lobby. So I just dropped some clothes off at Plato's Closet. I went through lots of my summer stuff, like my shorts, and I had some really good stuff still. So I took it to Plato's Closet. Some stuff still had the tags on it, but they're gonna go through my clothes and then send me a text when they're done. And in the meantime, I am going to Hobby Lobby and gonna look at the decor and all of that. So, let's go. To Hobby Lobby we go. This is one of my favorite stores. I love Hobby Lobby for like everything. They have lots of good stuff. And I need to get this cheese ball packet again because it was so good the last time I made it. This table is so stinking cute. Oh my gosh, so cute. That's also really cute, this little chest. They have such nice big pieces of furniture, but none of this stuff would fit in my car. You need like a truck. That's like a cute little bar cart. So cute. Everything's 30% off out here. I'm loving that tree. I have a white one from here. That's like the white birch tree. I'm sure you guys remember if you've been following my vlog channel for a while. I put it out like during winter time and stuff, but I really like that one. Okay, what do we think about these? I feel like these are perfect for a hallway. Just to do like two of them side by side or one up and down. I don't know, I feel like they're really pretty and simple. And then also I found these little bowls. They have small little speckles on them and they have this light brown bottom, which is so cute. I love small bowls like this to use for charcuterie boards. You could put like peanuts in here, olives, anything. These are just a good size. Okay, please pause and read this. <laughs> I think that is so funny. I love that. Like, I love when people have signs like this in their house where you actually like stop and read them. They're like so funny. Like if it's in the bathroom or something and someone would read it like sitting on the toilet, I'm getting that because that's so true. This one is so cute too. I love dog stuff. Like I have dog stuff everywhere. This is so adorable. What do we think about this? Big coffee cup. I don't know. I love it for some reason. Recipe to be happy. Ingredients. Two cups of kindness. One cup of understanding. Two handfuls of patience. One heart full of love. And one large smile. Isn't that cute? They have such funny bathroom signs. Look at this one. It's a word puzzle, and then the male and female. I, I, I really like that. I also think this one's cute. Let's roll with it. These would be kind of cute for a shelf, honestly. Isn't this cute? It's 50% off too. I think all the signs are 50% off. I'm thinking to put this right by the popcorn machine in my basement. I also thought these little glass jars were so cute. I love the color of the lid and like the way they're shaped. And I'm gonna do the word puzzle and this one for a bathroom. I think it's like fun. How sweet is this little stone that you can put outside? I love it. You guys, look how cool. These are solar panel rocks that you can put out in your yard. Oh my gosh, how sweet. I am definitely getting a few of these because sometimes it's hard to see the dogs at night. Oh, these animals even light up too. If they have a Frenchie, do they? I think only cats. That's cool though. I do like that. I have always seen these coolers here and I have loved them every single time. Like how cute are the colors on this pink one? And I don't have a cooler. I only have like little lunch boxes and that's usually what I like use as my cooler. But if I make a shopping trip to Trader Joe's, like a big one would be so useful. This is so cute. These soaps smell so good. I really like the packaging too. It's very simple. These are some crazy popcorn flavors. Dill pickle, movie theater, sweet caramel, baby back ribs. That's a cute little, cute little popcorn set. Okay, this. This was so good. I'm getting two of them. I made this for Easter and everyone was asking about the cheese ball. So good. You just had to mix it with cream cheese too. Had a little bit of a kick. How cute are these little pins, the plants to do, these hearts. I kind of am thinking about getting this to put in my office to remind me like 
when I have sponsorships due or when new fast food items are coming out, things like that. I think I might like to use one of those because I honestly hate chalkboards. I hate the noise of chalk on a chalkboard, but a pin board, that's kind of fun. This is also 50% off. It's a hand mixer, which I feel like this could come in handy. Now that I've been shredding up a lot of chicken for the dogs and like things like that that I don't want to get out my big mixer for, that would be really handy. Just picked up the clothes that they didn't take from Play-Doh's. They gave me $80 for all the things that they bought, so yay! And then the rest of the stuff I'm just going to donate to the thrift store. But I always like to take my things to Play-Doh's closet first because some of my things I buy online and then like I'm not able to return them and they still have tags on it. So I try and get a little bit of something for them and Play-Doh's closet is so easy to just drop the stuff off. Okay, it is much later and I just decided I want to try and make potato salad for the first time. I have lots of extra potatoes from when I get HelloFresh. Lots of the sides are potatoes. I don't usually cook them with my HelloFresh meal, but I'll use them either for like breakfast potatoes or something else. So I got this on Amazon a couple months ago and I haven't used it. It's an egg cooker. You can make deviled eggs, soft boiled, poached, poached eggs, yum. So, yeah, I don't really know how to use this, but let's try and figure it out, and we're gonna make potato salad. I've never made it before, and like every recipe's different on TikTok, so we're just gonna like combine them and make our own. So, we are making hard boiled eggs. So, if we do four to six, that'll be 16 minutes. Wow, that's okay, that's easy. Cute, I had to get the yellow colored one. I could put this in my storefront. The yellow just is like an egg yolk. I had to. It's a really cute yellow too. Look at this cute little thing. I love these dash makers. These things work the best. Okay, I don't want to make too much potato salad. Um, and I only have six eggs. So we are going to use five eggs. I'm going to save one of my eggs. Um, this machine kind of has a stinky smell. Now let's try and figure out how to use it. So that's where the eggs sit. And then this is like the omelet area you can do. Um, or the poached egg section. Or maybe it just goes like that. <laughs> I have no idea. But we're doing it like this. So it says, one, pierce the bottom of each egg with the measuring cup. Pierce it. What is that? Wait, what? Pierce it. I think that means when you like kind of tap it, right? Oh, I just cracked it. Wait, I don't know what to do. I want hard boil, so I will fill it to the hard. Okay, you put it underneath. Pull the bottom of measuring. Oh, mine doesn't have a needle. What? Mine is missing the freaking needle. You gotta be kidding. Did it like fall off when I opened everything? Well, that's extremely annoying that mine's just like missing it. Um, I'm like looking everywhere to see if I see it and I don't. Okay, I filled up this little thing and I'm gonna put this all in the bottom. I found a safety pin, so I'm going to use that to pierce the bottom of the egg, I guess. One. I don't know if I should use that other one that I like messed up with. I feel like it might be too cracked. What do we think? Should I try? I don't think it's gonna work. I guess I'll just keep this safety pin in that little compartment. I don't know what this is for. Is that for there? Wait. Okay, I think this is supposed to go underneath here. We're figuring it out. <laughs> there we go. Okay, egg. Hole at the bottom. Now, let's put the lid on here, and I guess it's going. Peeling potatoes is the absolute worst. Okay, these were like, this was four mini potatoes. Putting them in boiling water. I think the eggs are done. Okay, eggs should be done. Um, okay, I'm gonna just grab it with my sleeve because all my tongs are dirty. 
putting the eggs in an ice bath. Potatoes are cooking and I'm eating Chipotle. I'm like on a Chipotle kick lately. You guys know how I usually only like hothead burritos, you know? But right now I'm like liking Chipotle. I've been getting Chipotle for the past like three months. I really like it. And the dragon sauce, I just like the way it tastes. Mmm. Look how good that looks. And I always door dash it. But you can't door dash dragon sauce. So I just get chips with the red chili sauce. Or yeah, the chili salsa. And then I just mix sour cream in it at home. I like to dip my chip and then I put some of my bowl on top of the chip. So it's like a little mixture of everything. So good. Mmm. Sometimes this stuff is too hot. My nose is dripping though. It's hot, but it's perfect today. Sometimes it's like unbearable for me. In my bowl, I've mentioned this before, but I get white rice, fajitas, queso, tomatoes, corn, sour cream, cheese, and lettuce. So I didn't get beans this time. I kind of like switch off between like beans and fajita veggies. I don't know. You guys know I don't really like meat in my bowls or burritos, but super good. It's like eating a salad, right? That's what I told myself. <laughs> I know it's like a whole lot of cheese, but it's so good. And I don't eat this whole entire bowl. I will have lots of leftovers. So good. All right, let's check on these eggs and see how they peel. They were in ice cold water for a while while we're taking a Chipotle break. I love peeling hard boiled eggs. I think it smells so good. Okay, peeling pretty good. Sweet. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh wow, this cooked beautifully. I, I don't know what the inside looks like yet, but the way the egg feels, feels great. Okay, that worked great. Now let's cut one in half and see if it's perfectly hard boiled. Okay, it's a little bit under. Maybe I put too much water. Okay, well, I think that's still good though. Okay, I added in three of the eggs chopped up. I have one left over because as I'm looking at it, I feel like that's enough egg. I do love egg though. So we're gonna do that first. And then we have the yolk separate. So I'm honestly just gonna do like whatever I think will be good. So I did some mayo, some mustard. I chopped up one pickle. Gonna throw that in there. Now I'm adding a little bit of diced onion. I don't know, I think it sounds good. <laughs> I don't know if I should put more pickle in there either. Okay, a little bit more pickle. Okay, I added a bunch of seasonings and a little bit of sriracha. Now let's mix this together. Okay, it looks like animal style sauce, but with eggs in it. I'm gonna try it. Mmm, very good. I'm gonna throw it in there. Okay, my first time making potato egg salad. It looks very good, so let's try it now. Which I'm very picky about my potato salads from the grocery store. I think they all taste completely different. I like them really saucy like this, and also I like the potatoes softer. Sometimes they're really hard, but let's see how I did. Maybe I can perfect this recipe. That's actually really good. Mmm, I like the little pickles in there and the onion. That's good. Wow. I don't even know what I would like change about it. It is very eggy, so if you don't love eggs, I wouldn't add as much um, chopped up white egg like I did, but I really like eggs and I think that's pretty good. It's very mayo-y. Mmm. I just took a shower and I put my potato salad on my 
Snapchat story and everyone's like, do you mean egg salad? I don't know what I made. <laughs> I guess it is more like an egg salad because I put a lot of egg in it, but it's good and I love eggs. So I think it'll be really good on a sandwich, maybe like a croissant or something, egg salad sandwich. I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know. Let me know what you guys think I made below, but it's good. Anywho, I am going to have a bite of my nerdy nuts in the night with something sweet. So this one is cookies and cream bar. It tastes like a Rice Krispie treat. So good. I maybe already had like a spoonful earlier. Mmm. It's so good. Code STEPYUM if you want to get some. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, please hit the thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.